When the first settlers arrived in North America from England and established the first permanent settlement at Jamestown, 1607, there were plenty of white-tailed deer around. And uh, the Indians, the Powhatan Indians, had been hunting them for years. Uh, the settlers found it's kind of difficult to do it, though, with a matchlock. And throughout those early times, although they would be deer hunting, it's not until the invention of the flintlock and, and a light, handy rifle that you can carry in the woods that really the, the phase of the deer hunter and the long hunters uh, come in. Deer hunting not only is impacted by the developments in firearms technology, but the, uh, the, the, the necessities of hunting also have had an impact on the development of technology. The Jaeger rifle, a rifle design that was brought over from Western Europe, uh, was modified and extended, and we end up with the American long rifle, or the Eastern long rifle, we call it Pennsylvania or Kentucky rifles. That was developed specifically to, uh, to hunt with on the uh, western edges of the colonies in the 1700s. Right up until the 1850s, just about all deer rifles were muzzle loaders. And then you start to get the early breech loaders used for sporting purposes, and that means deer hunting for the most part in the United States. And one of the first rifles used in a sporting configuration uh, was the Sharps. Uh, Christian Sharps' breech loader uh, was an incredible advance forward. And you simply put in a paper cartridge, and it's a projectile and then a, a paper or linen container for the powder, and then you close the breech. What the breech block does is slices off the back, exposing the black powder. You put a cap on and you could fire. It's not until after the Civil War that you start seeing the cartridge firearms coming in. And these, for the most part, are the repeating arms. And Winchester is right out there in front of them. Winchester brings out its model 1866, which is an improvement over the original Henry rifle that came out in 1860. And by 1873, they have, well, what has now been termed the gun that won the West. To watch this entire episode on Outdoor Channel, contact your TV provider today.